Hey Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Rome. So let's get started here. We completed the water mill in here. And I think I'm going to throw down the commercial hub. Um, but I think what I'd like to do is to try to make sure that I get the Colosseum. Because I feel like it's a pretty highly contested wonder. Now I don't see enough of the map. Oh hello. There's the Colosseum. So yeah, it looks like some other people might be trying to get the Colosseum. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to secure it maybe by getting more traders. So I'm actually going to go here and chop out another trader in Arulate. So let me go ahead and set that up. If I chop that trader out, I'll get it pretty quick. Over here, we did complete another market. Um, it'll take a while to get another thing in here. Let's just go for the uh, water mill. And then I'll chop there. That'll finish that. We'll go for the market. Then here, I'm going to harvest this. That'll finish the Library of Natural History. Um, okay. Things are coming along nicely on these fronts. Let's go explore this way. I'm going to pop you out this way to see if you can maybe kill a couple of these guys. You never know. This guy, I'm a little bit worried about him pushing me. Especially with this guy kind of out in the front, vulnerable and alone. Yeah, okay. Oh wow, he actually... <laughs> he survived with three health. I'm gonna... Let's see, how do I get him out of here? I think... Uh, I can't run this way because he'll hit me. If I go to this hill, that'll be too much movement for this guy to get me. If I go to this hill with this guy, move this guy this way. So if I go here with this guy, here with this guy, and then next turn I swap these two guys, I'll spend one turn healing with this guy, I'll shoot the crap out of this city this turn. To get some experience. I'll come here and I'll chop. Did I do that wrong? I chopped before... Oh. So that chop didn't actually count at all. Because I chopped when the city was not building anything. Rip, what a waste of a chop. Oh well. Um, I'd like to build another thing here. So what I might do is I might purchase this tile. Then go for a commercial hub here, like that. Over here, you're going to wait there. I'm going to have you just wait there. I'm going to shoot this guy. He's going to attack you. Then you're going to shoot him again and get a level up. So that'll work out nicely for you. I'm going to have you come out this way too to help support. I'm not going to bother with that scout. I'll just come in here, have a quick look around inside the sort of gap between Norway and, or sorry, Finland and Estonia. All right. So we took a hard hit here. We need to keep this guy retreating. I could retreat down this way, actually, which would be a little bit more of a secure retreat path. I like that. Yeah, let's retreat down this way. And we can push these guys forward a little bit. You shoot there. We'll get these guys to shoot this guy. We'll get this guy to go down this way. You're going to chop here and then this is going to get transported to Rome because I want to help finish the um, Colosseum. I gave it another, I gave it this horse tile as well to try and get a bit more production in there. Then I guess I'll attack here to do some damage. Um, you're going to go there to chop. You actually have a chop as well so I'll send both of you guys to chop. Pop in here. There's St. Petersburg just off screen there. Now. I'm going to assume the city will pop out a unit soon. Okay, he did get a kill. Not the end of the world. We have some more archers coming. Archers aren't the strongest thing ever yet. 
Um, they mostly, their advantage is that they do damage without taking damage. That's really their claim to fame. Okay, I might retreat you a tile. Um, or advance. If I advance you to here. Can you get shot by the city as a city in a hill? No, it doesn't look like it. Population 10 city. So let's look for production. To Garonda would give me some production. Okay, so will that shave a turn off? It might just about. If I get this guy over to Rome as well, I might be able to shave off another turn off that just to make sure that we get it because I really, really don't want to lose it because I've invested a lot of time into it. Um, go ahead and get that market. Although I really should start building settlers again. But I do have the sailing technology coming up soon. What I might do is actually get some galleys to control this ocean area. Oh, hello. The shot there. I'll move that guy. I think I'm the Suzerain of Granada now. Let's move you there. Take the incendiaries promotion. You're going to fortify there. You're going to go there. You're going to go here, you're going to go here, you're going to go here. Go there, shoot. Shoot. Fortify, fortify. Just absorb as much damage as you can. We'll chop out that archer. I think I'll chop out one more legion here. Now, I could chop out an equis, but... It's not a priority for me right now. I could get Alcazar's because I'm the suzerain of thing, but I think I'm going to put a mine over here instead. And in theory, you could go up that hill, right? But you can't move anymore. So that's that. Uh, let's get this archer moving down to support this army. And I guess you can see everything you can see in there, so you may as well come back out. I'm using my land to be perfectly productive, Nubia. Don't be giving me your crap. Uh, open borders. Will you give me more money? You'll give me 16 gold per turn. Deal. It's a nice amount of gold. A lot of my income is coming from... Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat you. There's also this I need to deal with. Alright. Looks like the unit decided here was the place to spawn. We can get two shots on him. Let's get these two guys to swap. I could do some damage here. That would get you a promotion. Sure, let's get that promotion. Library of Natural History completed. Um, you could get me an Equis to help support the front line. I'll get one of those. Need a little bit, little bit more support on the front line. Especially because I want to start building infrastructure here too and rely less on these cities for war now. Chop out another legion. You keep moving there, you keep moving there, you keep moving there. Okay, so watermill wouldn't be a terrible idea in here to get a little bit of infrastructure. Um, a builder would be amazing, but I'm not quite ready for builders. Well, I guess I could pop that there. Do I have any builders finishing? I should maybe move Liang to somewhere where I'm building builders. Like here. This city could produce a lot of builders for me. So let's get Liang and reassign her to Simonellum. And then I will appoint Reyna down to there for now.
Come on, be one turn away. Do I have to buy a tile here to try and get a little bit more production? I think this is the best we can do. We'll see if it works out. Oh, hello. Um... That's not good. That's, uh... That's the opposite of good. That's a lot of units coming into my borders from the sea. I forgot that they could do that. Yeah. This is why I had these encampments here, but I forgot to build them into, like, actual things, and I forgot to build walls. Ow, didn't expect that. Okay. Caught me by surprise there. Let's take on this Heteroids. You have a promotion. We will take that promotion. While the nice, we finished the Colosseum. That's amenities and luxuries galore. Although I have left Rome with nowhere to build a bath, which kind of sucks, but... It'll have to do without it. Let's get a plus five harbor in here. Let's get a galley first. Shoot there. Can you kill this on your own? You can, that helps. You shoot there, you come forward, you shoot there. You shoot there. You shoot there. Take the promotion. Come this way. Come, legions. Come help me out. Um... Start building infrastructure. I'd like to get some of these improved. Get the granary to start working more tiles. Builder would make sense, but you're kind of in a dangerous position, so. Come here, see if you can bait that guy into attacking up into the thing on you. Go there, that's gonna be a support position. You keep exploring here. There's Gotland, I think, or Sjeland. No, no, Sjeland's over here. Gotland's here. I forget what this one's called. I always forget what it's called. Uh, open borders, sure thing. You'll also pay me. Cool, thank you. So how's his, how's his army size now? Let's have a look. 2,000, I'm up to 700. So we're not quite on par, but we're getting there. Okay, we have a lot of these to deal with. And we also still have to take this city. But I think we can do it. I think this city can kill this guy. So that's an easy move. You can swap with this guy. If you shoot here, this guy can attack here and get that kill. You can fill into this spot. Shoot there. This guy needs to retreat to... Get my archers to help. It's very congested here, I'm gonna bring some legions down the south way. You finish the legion here. I'd like to start building districts. But I think I'm going to maybe produce another uh, another couple of these horsemen before I really get down and dirty into the construction phase. I could get some experience from this. I'd rather tank the hit than to give it, because if I, if I attack, that opens me up to death. You wait there. You help out Brundisium. 
Looks like Norway is settling around here. Cool. I'm expecting to take some more losses in this war. But I think we're killing a lot more than we're, we're losing. How are we comparing to Alexander tech-wise? Poland is, looks like she's ahead a little bit tech-wise. Right, we have a promotion here. We don't have a promotion here, but we do have legions that can take up his, his spot. Um, I don't care what normal people believe, Sean Bean. Stop bothering me. Let's come here. Let's swap here. Shoot there. Shoot there. You go there and heal up. Shoot that guy. Shoot this guy. You fortify. Can you swap with this guy? Get a shot off on this guy. Can you take the plus one movement promotion? I have a galley here now, so I'm feeling safe to build the harbor. So I can delete this pin now that the harbor is placed. Uh, I finished the water mill here in Luceria. I'm going to grab ancient walls just for the defensive shot in this area. That might help me a little. I'll just take one hit here. Soften him up. You're coming down this way. As are you. You're going to come down this way too. You wait there. There's another Norwegian city. Cool. It's good to see that they're continuing to expand. Although for some reason Spain hasn't expanded at all. Which is concerning. Um, I thought the AI would be much more eager to expand, but it seems like they're happy to sit on a certain number of cities. Norway, at least, is expanding. Like, you would think they would just throw a settler or two around here, because, like, there's, like, at least room for three cities in here. With the advance of feudalism... With feudalism, I'm going to be slapping in the serfdom. So that we can go full production. Um, we are going to want to start building aqueducts. Let's go ahead and get some boosts maybe towards like exploration. That would be good. So I might pick up military training here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, we need to kill this guy. You take your promotion. Take your promotion. Wake this guy up. Fortify him. You go there. Not sure how these guys are able to walk through this terrain, but I'm not questioning it. Because it's working out in my favor. Keep moving here. Let's shoot this guy twice. Should just about clear him out. There we go. You wait there. You take the barding promotion. You stay there and defend that city. Mainly I want these guys to sit on the harbor so they can't get pillaged while I'm building them up. We'll go to the next turn. And because I'm in this particular game speed, I can actually do stuff like that where I can take my time. God damn it. I like this game speed. Probably makes the game a little bit easier, so I might have to like install some difficulty mods. But for now, I'm pretty happy with how it changes the game. But you can see like... Up against Alexander, for example, you know, it's not like I'm walking all over him. Like, this is a slow, grinding war. Um, he has the time to rebuild just as fast as I do. Let's take the volley promotion. Let's swap these two archers. Let's shoot here. You go there. You cross there. Shoot there. Let's keep damaging these cavalry. Keep hurting them. You fortify. 
I want you to take a hit from him to buy me a turn. You come this way, we'll go to the next turn. He might get some pillages off, which would be really annoying. But, I mean, at the very least, we got our Colosseum, which makes me pretty happy. We need to start, we do need to start building those aqueducts, though. Okay, we lost that unit. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's probably not the start of the world either, but it's far from ideal. Let's get you inside the uh, city here. Defend. Let's choose our production over here. We have another legion. The legion swarm is beginning to get underway. Alright. Let's continue to cause problems for this uh, Alexander chap. Hill there, jump up onto the hill, shoot this guy a couple times, soften him up. Legion has been completed. I definitely want to build a bath, and this is the best place to build it for me, so I will go for that. The bath is worth so much housing. Uh, yep, right there. I'm gonna get you to fortify there so you take less damage and heal up next turn. Don't want you getting too low. I don't think you have the uh, experience. So I'll do this deal with you. Sounds good to me. Persia. We're taking hits as expected. You have a promotion. Ah, he's being bombarded here somehow. So I'm going to pull him back a tile. To this wheat. Let's pull you back a tile. Let's take the tortoise promotion. Let's move you forward. Let's check who has upgrades available. You do. Let's go for garrison. Let's keep shooting these guys. I'd like to kill there, but I might die as a consequence. Let's swap here. Fortify. You guys are all in defensive positions. Let's get the bath in here as well. This would not give adjacency to this. It would give it to this, but it would kill a mine tile. I think I'll take the adjacency over the mine. Come this way. You wait there. Unit needs orders. Come this way. City ranged attack. Shoot there. Trying to get these done as fast as I can, these walls, to help defend myself. Another encampment right here would make this pretty much unassaultable. Huh. Yeah, they're able to attack just so quickly with these heavy cavalry that um, even if I have units well positioned in defensive terrain, they still get on top of me and do damage. It's a little bit annoying, but it's part of the game. So I think I can take the city this turn. I'm going to send this legion in. I'd meant to shoot it first. That was a mistake. Let me see. We can wait a turn. Get as many shots off on these guys as we can. Swap with this guy, choose our civic. We have what? Mercenaries wouldn't be terrible right now. Let's go ahead and pick up the market. I need to start building baths actually as well. So let's go ahead and prioritize that. So if I put the bath here, I can get a triangle there. Okay. Yep. It's just worth building as Rome, in my opinion. Even if you're crushing like some pretty good stuff. 
Uh, the faster you get it out, the better returns on it you get. Uh, we have one Envoy. I think I'm going to hold on to it. I mean, Mombasa wouldn't be terrible, but I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, you come this way. Just going to wait there. You wait there. Let's do a little bit of exploration of Corsica and Sardinia, or whatever it's called. You come this way. Take the tortoise promotion on you. Little mix of things. Okay, he's getting kills on me. But that's okay. Once I take this city, I might look for peace. Although I'm tempted to just stay at war forever. The war weariness is ticking up though, so I think I do need to get peace here soon. Once I take this city, I think I might seek peace with him. And then just attack him again in 10 turns. Let's wipe this unit out. Shoot here. Can we get any more kills? To force his army's floor down? I mean, we're taking bites out of him, but he just keeps building units as fast as we kill him. Uh, I suppose we can talk to him now. I would like you to seed... He's not willing to give anything, but he will take a white piece. Sure. So we have peace with Macedon, which is really just uh, an armistice to try and build up more units to attack him with. Like, I'd like to get a few equis. I'd like to get a great general, which I'm not too far away from getting, although Scythia is catching up. So I might want more encampments. I was building a stable in here, and the plan was to use that. Um, I'd like to get the lighthouse. A, for the housing. B, for the experience on units. I think I'm also going to grab the national epic here so I can build another district if I need it. Okay, so this city... I did put in the builder card, right? Yeah, I did. So this city... It's going to be producing lots and lots of builders for me. we got ancient walls in here. So we can shoot if we need to. Let's get our bath. And I think right there, even though I'm killing woods, it hurts to kill woods without chopping them, but the bath is just that good in my opinion that it's worth doing. Even though it's a really good campus spot, it's also a really good bath. So I think before I go to war with him again, I'd like to have crossbowmen and maybe long swordsmen, but definitely crossbowmen. A few crossbows will make the make the next war very very uh, simple compared. Uh, this looks like an industrial city state. Two ceric iron. Cool. Go to the next turn. I was literally just at war with you forever, and now you're complaining that I'm not at war. I don't understand you, Alexander. Uh, mutual open borders. Would you give me more? That's all you'll give me, that's okay. What about mutual open borders? Would you give me more? Or you want something from me? Sure. I thought Scotland might have been killed, but it looks like they're still surviving up here. How about mutual open borders? What would you pay me? You'd give me one gold per turn. That's a deal. I need to get these traders filled out, but I need to get my baths built as well. The baths are going to result in a lot of amenities and growth for me. Alright, we got our first unique district. We are going to have a golden age soon. Um, Nice. So if we have uh, the brain, 
brain has forgotten the words that I need to say, so I will just say no words. Do I have Quadrireme unlocked? We're about to unlock it. Go get the Mausoleum. Don't think I will. I'll go ahead and grab the Lighthouse. You know what I'll actually do? I'm gonna do an encampment training or two in here to secure a, a great general for myself. I really want this guy. I wanna make sure I get him. I'll probably do the same thing in here. It's too long, it takes too long in there. Let's get these horse units moving. Um, in terms of the bath, Commercial hub, well, commercial hub, harbor, bath, something else. So I'll put the bath here. You finished your bath, which means you have plenty of housing room now. Where's the catapult? Yep, I want to make some catapults. Ideally, I want to make an encampment. And right here is actually an ideal encampment location because it provides uh, basically a massive choke point. So yeah, get me an encampment in here, then get the barracks, and then get me some catapults. When I get my infrastructure built up. Okay. Get those builders out. Let's keep exploring here. Unit needs orders. Let's start pressuring our dear friend Alexander and have a look at his cities from the outside. Let's get people healed up. Whoever needs to be healed up just needs to get healed up. Uh, so we'll do that. So I have a unit with with two attacks, which is really, really nice going into the next war. As long as I can keep that alive and maybe get it turned into a crossbowman, I think things will be quite easy. You heal up there. Let's keep exploring. Unit needs orders. We'll move this way. We are getting a lot of really nice knowledge over here. I might set that guy to auto-explore. He's a bit far away. I still have a very weak little garrison over here, but this is all I need as a deterrence force for France. This can be converted into a proper army pretty quickly, actually. So I'm not too worried about it. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause... Okay, there's the quad dry ream. You finished your bath, so now you can grow quite a bit. I'd like to get a builder to do these um, improvements. I would also like to get a water mill, because that would force a lot of growth in here. Um, so that's what I want in this city. Yeah, I think there's two cities in here, and then there's also Sardinia and Carthage to look into settling. But I need to make sure I have control of these waters, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. You wait there. Let's get some... ...control lines... ...set up. I could also invade over here. Invade from the sea and really hit this guy hard. Uh, I think I'm going to take it a little bit easier than that. That'll finish the bath in here. Let's repair that monument as well. And have you just fortify there. You're going to wait there for a turn. We finally have some horsemen to help us out. You're going to keep exploring this way. We'll go to the next turn. So... I think my next priority in this next episode is going to be settling the African coast. I think I'm going to start looking up a map of the Roman Empire so that we can start to properly recreate it. I know that we need to get at least over to here-ish. We need to capture like Africa. We need to capture Spain. We need to capture France and a decent chunk of Germany. 
We also need to capture the English portion of the UK. Um, we need to capture Greece. Eventually we need to get down here. So I'll have a look at what the Roman Empire was at its greatest extent and see if we can make plans to match that, match that extent. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support the channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.